Welcome, everyone. We have a great team here with Trueflation. We have Ken, who leads up business development with the team. We have Zaji, myself here from Chainlink Labs, and we're really excited to unpack a little bit of what's been happening with the Trueflation team, and especially on the back of what's happened uh, on the back of SmartCon last year. Uh, a really exciting award was granted to these folks um, for building something really innovative, uh, and we're going to hop into that momentarily. But before we do so, we'd love to just hand it over to you, Ken. Uh, welcome to the, to the AMA. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, uh, I can just do a quick explanation if you like of, of Trueflation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure thing. Yeah. It would be great to hear, uh, just a general, you know, overview of what you guys have been working on. Okay. So, uh, essentially the short version is Trueflation puts inflation data on chain and obviously we use Chainlink. Um, the longer version is we use, we, we put U S dollar inflation data on chain um, and, uh, you know, using the, the chain link oracles to do that has been, uh, obviously I've, I've been a fan of, of chain link for so long that it's never been an option to use anything else, but chain link. Yeah, man. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, like, uh, you know, you, you guys were granted the award, the challenge that Balaji set out, uh, at SmartCon last year. Right. And so if you don't mind, can, can we expand a little bit on like what the behind the scenes look like of how you guys mobilize to bring some product like this to life. I mean, we're pretty much bringing, you know, relatively, you know, important index of information that, you know, the rest of the world uses, but now making it in a uh, open source and friendly to use way for web three. So just curious how you guys did that. Yeah. So I, I think like most people, uh, we were concerned at uh, the rising inflation and we're kind of looking at developing technologies to help protect uh, purchasing power uh, for, for users of the, of the dollar and stuff. And so the first thing that we, could, we had to do in order to do that was uh, create a way to accurately gauge inflation data. And so um, that, was, that was kind of like what uh, was the impetus behind the idea in addition to like calls from other people and, and also the call uh, from uh, Chainlink and Balaji and the others uh, was uh, motivated by that, that same desire to have like an accurate gauge. So that's, that's behind the scenes, essentially how it started was, um, you know, we need to protect people from inflation. And in order to do that, you have to first have to accurately diagnose what the inflation level is and we found I, I i in my opinion i don't think the government cpi was ever meant for use with uh like sophisticated uh financial instruments and it's more of a a bellwether used by the federal government to to gauge uh you know is inflation high or is it not it was never meant to at least this is my understanding. It was never meant to to build sophisticated products on top of. So uh, we needed something a little bit more um, like live, up to date, open, and and accurate according to what people are are purchasing and and spending money on. So that's that's really how it happened. It's pretty simple. And through that process, were there things that maybe surprised you as you started building this consumer price index? Yes. Okay. So uh, the government uh, CPI, the way they arrived at it, I had no idea. I thought, you know, it's the federal government, you know, NSA, all that stuff. They collect all your data. I figured they had all these super sophisticated mechanisms for, you know, they have every single piece of data out there and they use, you know, these supercomputers or whatever to develop these uh, these really accurate models, but that's not what happens. Uh, they use essentially surveys and they take a, a, a small amount, well, relatively small, it's like tens of thousands of people across the country of, you know, like what, 350 million now. Um, and and they, they ask them essentially, what did you pay last year for product X and what did you pay this year for product X? And then they find that difference. And that's how the CPI is calculated. Uh, and, and so for us, that wasn't uh, as accurate or um, uh, as, as uh, fine tuned, I guess you could say, uh, for the products that we were looking to, to build. 
But that was really what surprised me was I thought the government would be on top of, you know, the sophisticated data models, but that's not how it happens. Yeah, I mean, well, thank you for explaining that. I actually didn't know myself. So yeah, yeah. me neither. It's a bit, a bit wet too. Know, <laughs> but I think the way you guys really distill it down is is really user friendly. Um, you know, using the uh, the application you guys have made, uh, you know, app.trueflation.com, really easy to follow uh, and really transparent in in terms of you know the the interface and the experience. You could really unpack all of these different ingredients to the index that you, that you guys have come up with. So I'm curious to power that, I guess, where, where in this whole equation does Chainlink come into the picture? Okay. So, uh, as an Oracle Chainlink is obviously, uh, top tier, but, uh, they deliver, we, we use Chainlink Oracles to deliver the information. So, uh, essentially what we do is we take, live data from APIs, you know, the idea is to take data from a year ago, what price is like uh, from like data aggregators and uh, APIs, like, for example, Zillow, um, you know, you would get housing and rental data. What was it a year ago? And what are people paying today just for like housing stuff, real estate? Um, and so we take all that data and there's tons of other data provi providers. We have like over 10 million uh, data points that we aggregate into this larger algorithm. And then we, you know, crunch the numbers, I guess you could say, and then feed that onto the, uh, the blockchain via chain link uh, for use in, in smart contracts. So that's where chain link comes in is, is making it available to all the different chains uh, if for anyone that wanted to use inflation data. And there's a ton of, uh, I know like we haven't finished the uh, uh, the hackathon yet, but we've gotten so many awesome uh, submissions and projects for the Chainlink hackathon. I thought I'd mention that. It's really cool. You're, the, the Chainlink community is, is super sick. And, you know, I've, I've been a member of it forever, so I knew that. But I see uh, that. I see that swag. I yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, that's um, awesome. And thanks for saying that. Yeah, we're really excited to see what our community is building around all of this. But um, from your perspective, what is the goal for your community? What are you hoping that people will learn from the data that you're aggregating? Well, we want to enable people. We want to give people the means to protect themselves from the ravages of inflation. And, you know, like they say that like uh, inflation is like a hidden tax. And it is kind of true. You know, if you're if inflation's at 10 percent and you make just use a round number, a hundred thousand dollars, you know, then you've 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 lost ten percent or ten thousand dollars in in purchasing power over a year. So that that adds up and it compounds and it's a real problem. And so we want to enable people the tools to to protect themselves from these uh, oftentimes under noticed or hidden uh, taxes um from from inflation and and that can come in the form of either either using different uh tools that people have created with trueflation or or even um creating their own mm. yeah and so i mean kind of just to expand on that the community sentiment piece a little bit uh ken um you know has there been any preference in terms of where they'd like to see what you're working on expanding into like a multi-chain world, like, or what chains are you guys operating with right now? And, you know, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, so, uh, we, right now we are on ETH obviously, and then Avalanche and Polygon and, uh, BNB Binance. So each chain has their, uh, you know, their pros and their cons. We've gotten a lot of uh, uh, interest in using, you could call them, you know, the, the L2s or whatever. Um, uh, Polygon, for example, um, just because the, the, um, the fees are, are so much lower. And so that's, and, and if you're using data daily and you're consuming or storing data on chain, that's, that's really what uh, people have been really receptive to. But I'd like to see it to where uh, 
you know, the data is available on every chain. And that's something that we're working on. But luckily, because we use ch uh, Chainlink, it's basically any any chain anyone could could want. But those are the those are the chains that we're live right now. Very cool. Yeah, super nice. Thanks for expanding on that. And um, we did see, congrats, thought you wrapped up your seed round led by Fundamental Labs. So what are some use cases that you're working towards on that front? So the the CPI, the Trueflation CPI is so useful on, in, in, in a bunch of different ones. One of the things that I think is really cool is uh, there's an opportunity to have uh, like a stable coin uh, proof or resistant uh, uh, of inflation. So like uh, an inflation resistant stable coin, I guess you could say, so that uh, it keeps up with the actual level of inflation rather than um, like a, the, the, a standard stable coin is going to... Um, you know, just be at a dollar. But, you know, if, if inflation is taking 10%, then it's going to be lower than a dollar in a year. So that's one example. Uh, there's all sorts of, uh, like, there's prediction markets. There's um, options and futures and hedging opportunities for people. And by the way, one of the things that we're building uh, is not just the U.S. dollar, but the goal is to get to the entire world. Uh, we've got the UK and Canada coming, I think, within the next month. We've got uh, some European countries, Germany included. And then we're also focusing on Latin America as well. And so uh, that's that's an example of, uh, uh, you know, if there was a, a company uh, that wanted to trade futures or options based on inflation rates at this or that level, uh in inflation ravaged countries that's, that's a really uh useful tool so yeah i definitely relate to that i'm personally from south america so i can see why governments um and people in those countries would be really interested in learning more so it'll be interesting oh, cool. to see what happens yeah 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 what what uh what country uh colombia so definitely oh, okay. I got, uh, <laughs> oh nice <laughs> I've been to awesome. Colombia a couple times. yeah 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 nice yeah devcon this year um, hopefully a lot of people will be there. Oh, what what uh, what's the date? It's in October and it's going to be in Colombia. So I think a lot of our community will be there. Oh, really? Okay. I'm going to see if they'll send me. That'll be awesome. <laughs> nice. Is it in Bogota or Medellin? Or... Yeah, Bogota. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's, there's, there's a need. We we're just, you're just saying there's a need. You gotta, you gotta go mm -hmm. and figure it out. So absolutely. Absolutely. And like, you know, like Venezuela is right next to uh, mm -hmm. Colombia and they've been absolutely uh, hammered by inflation. Yeah. So, you know, that's the goal. And that's, that's the goal with web three or crypto in general is to enable people and empower. And I know it's like a corny word, but like really like empower people, the tools to, to, uh, to create the means to protect themselves so that they don't have to trust these institutions that they can build the means to protect themselves and, and, uh, interact directly with one another. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, I think it's a good, I think it's a legitimate dream. Absolutely, man. And I think, um, you know, you were you were just kind of giving us maybe a little bit of an Easter egg of what maybe is ahead in terms of all of these other indices and other countries or other markets that could benefit of something like this. But I'm just curious, you know, imaginatively speaking, like, are there other types of indices that you think could be done in a similar way to what you've done here from like a consumer price perspective with this type of technology? Yeah, absolutely. So like from from uh, one from like the CPI perspective, like the way I see things moving is like a kind of like a, a, a Google Earth for inflation data. So that you can zoom out and have like you could say global inflation uh, and then you can have it at the state level and then uh, or like country level and then uh, regional and then U.S. state or province and then city and then zip code and just zoom in and out and have different levels of granularity with other things. Absolutely. Uh, you know, like um, I think there's both the opportunity for uh, again, a corny word, many metaverse type of uh, indexes. So like things like uh, NFTs or, or uh, uh, you know, real estate mm -hmm. uh, on the blockchain, like actually in the metaverse real estate. And so there's all sorts of opportunities for that, but also in the real life, in real life as well, um, 
you know, you could have GDP, you could have, it's, it's, inf it's essentially infinite, the, the amount of stuff that you could do. And, and then also you could do, I think a really cool project is, uh, and it has nothing to do with us. It's just something that I think is cool is uh, like helium and all the internet of things uh, that's possible. And so you've got essentially all this data on the blockchain with all these internet of things. That's a ton of new data that's available and who knows what people can build with that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I think there's obviously like a myriad of stuff that could that could take place with with empowering data with Web three. Um, just curious, just to tie, tie things up for people who are really curious about you know what we're talking about here. You know, where where can people find more about Trueflation? Yeah, okay. So you can check the app for the live inflation data today. That's app.trueflation.com. Um, and then you can find us just our, our main landing page, trueflation.com. We're also on Twitter at trueflation. And then uh, if you go to our Twitter, you'll see uh, links to our Telegram, which is active, and our Discord as well. Mm -hmm. The Telegram is more for like your, your casual user. The Discord has, has become more for uh, like developers to ask questions. Mm -hmm. But all are welcome. If you have any, if anybody has any questions about, uh, developing, you can hit me up on Twitter. It's just uh, at KNACN is my Twitter account. Uh, but yeah, anybody that has any questions or uh, input, we're happy to have them. Yeah, if you don't mind, uh, can I can I just give people a little bit of a teaser of the app? Uh, I got it pulled up right here. Uh, if you want to like tell people a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, uh, let me see if I could share real quick. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, this is all really, really interesting what you're building. So I'm super excited got, to see this. We got the dashboard nice. right here. I mean, it's pretty clean. That's yeah, right. It's really so, easy to look at. Yeah, it's 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 a sliding. We've got, you know, like the highest here today. And then also you can check just the, the, the various, like you can have, uh, what is it, five day, one month, six month, and then year to date and one year. And so you can get a, a feel for that. And then we also break down the categories of each of the call them Lego pieces of the CPI. So it's, you know, food, housing, transportation, medical care, education, and personal items. So you can see like transportation, which is gas, uh, is the one that really uh, had a massive impact. And then, yeah, exactly. Then you can furthermore drop down to get more granularity to see here's transportation, here's every single part of it, and then the current rate. And all this updates every 24 hours. Yeah, Ken, I think this is super cool and informative yeah. for, for anyone. You know, it doesn't matter if you're, uh, you know, really into Web3 or someone who's never really even heard about blockchain before. Um, the ability to see information like this is really empowering to your point. And the mission of you guys, what you're working on, um, it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. It's like, depending on your lifestyle, you could come in right here and make your choice. You know, if you're someone who's considering, you know, higher education or going to college or whatever, you know, you can unpack it if you're, you know, trying to feed a family, you can unpack it. It's just, you know, it's a really cool application you guys have built. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the, and the, the, the possibilities for uh, building, let's say if you were in an industry where like for food, you were just interested in food, uh, it will be available to to uh, have called just those values, just food values. So like, you know, like I said, like the you could call that just that single Lego piece of food, or mm -hmm. you could break that down even more and have all those values. That's where that's where things are moving. Yeah, okay, absolutely, man. And and I think that um, I'm going to stop sharing real quick here, but uh, I think that in the spirit of of Web three and the composability piece, I think you referencing these little these these components individually as Legos, it enables a whole nother derivative, uh, a myriad of options for people to continue to build and expand on, you know, even this foundation. So anyway, uh, just felt the need to show some folks. I was, I was playing yeah, with you, thank before, you. before we hopped on the call today. Just thought it was a really, you know, nice look, clean look, easy to understand. So, um, yeah. So anyway, if you guys are looking for more about Trueflation, you have Ken, you have his info, you got all their info. And uh, Ken, man, really appreciate you hopping on today. Absolutely. Thank you so much.